Welcome to your vinyasa class, a class that I have designed for beginners, intermediates, or advanced. So whether you are completely new to yoga or you are a seasonal practitioner, this class is for you. So today I would like to start class if I can. <laughs> I would like to start class in Sukhasana, easy suppose. So taking the hands to the knees, picking the mudra of your choice, lengthen the spine, gaze up. We're gonna start taking the inhales through the nose. And long and steady exhales through the nose. Connecting to your Ujjayi breath. Allowing yourself to relax. So for the next 25 minutes, allow yourself to be present, to connect to your breath, and to put a pause into your daily life. Understanding that life is happening right here, right now. Understanding that everything is going to be waiting for you once you're done with your practice. But in the meantime, dive inwards. Take two more full inhales and then long exhales. Now bring your hands together to Anjali Mudra prayer. Now keeping the eyes closed. Take the arms all the way up to the sky, lengthening the spine. And on the exhale, we're going to take the arms behind the back, open the eyes, and then slowly start lifting up the hips, opening the foot. And on the exhale, slowly come back to neutral. And we're gonna take some Sufi circles. So start making big round circles with the spine, and lifting breath and movement. Go around the opposite way. And now find stillness. Coming onto your tabletop, we're gonna stack the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees. Pressing the mat away, top your toes, and we're gonna hover a few inches of the mat. Keeping it straight back, connected to the core. Strong fingers in here. Always sinking down into the shoulders. And now we're gonna take the right leg up. You can stay there or if you find your balance, maybe take your left or right. Breathing in here with tension. Engage your core. And then slowly come down. And we're going to do the other side. So your left leg comes up. Make sure that you keep pushing the mat away. Now take your right arm. in here and then slowly come down bring it to the mat tuck your toes and push yourself into your downward facing dog and as you're walking your dog coming high on the toes feeling the stretch on the hamstrings pressing them out the way shake your head yes Shake your head down. Now find stillness. Come high at the toes, bend the knees, and take the hips a little bit higher. Taking the chest closer to your thighs. Gaze in between your feet, coming into your turbo dog.
bring the heels back to the mat. And we're going to start walking one inch at a time all the way towards the front. Take your time to come to the front of the mat. And once you're here, bring the heels back to the mat. Start shifting the weight into the toes instead of the heels. You can take your hands to the mat, maybe you can take your hands to the block. You can grab opposite elbows either in front of the legs or behind the legs and just hang head here. Release any tension on the lower back. Release the mind. If you have one, take your hands to the mat, your chin to the block. Inhale, reverse the back, and then your arms go forward up to the side. And then on the exhale, bring the hands to the top. Inhale, reach the arms to the top. And exhale, with the front back, pull it over. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, jump or walk. Try to run this and that's enough. Modify if you need to by taking it to the back. Inhale, up your feet. Exhale, down for feet. Bring your feet a little closer together. Inhale, take your right and hold to the left of the back. Coming high in the left knee. Exhale, bring the right knee to nose. Shift the way forward so we're snapping the shoulders over the wrist and we're pressing the back away. Engage your core. Inhale, take your right leg all the way back. Bring the right knee to nose one more time. Step your right foot in between your hands. Then we need to go for your walk, arms all the way up. Remember your back foot is long and 45 degrees, and your hips are facing the front of your left. Taking your palm to the arms, take your right foot back and clear a bow when you walk. Transitioning to warrior three. Square the hips. Round it to the right toes, then you see Shiva. So you bend the core, right hand up the left knee, and then come back. Bend the forward. Come back into your warrior three. Transitioning into eagle legs, eagle arms, eagle legs. Keep the left leg around the right leg. And we're going to take the right arm under the left arm. Feel free to stay here, maybe you can salt. Release. Come back into your warrior. Grateful, you're gonna step the left foot back, coming back into a warrior one, sweep the arms all the way up to the spine. Inhale, and on the exhale, we take the hands to the mat to find the right foot. We sweep the right leg all the way up to the spine. We open the hips, bend the knee, left your dog. So then the hips all the way up, opening your heart, right arm reaches towards the front. Take your right hand back. To the mat, sweep your right leg all the way up to the sky. Thread the needle, right leg under the left arm, and take the left arm. Keep your right leg where it is. Then it goes back to the mat, square the hips, shoulder under the dasana. Push yourself up. Take your right leg all the way up, and now step it to the back of the mat, coming back into your down face. Really connect to your breath in here. Bring your feet a little closer together. Inhale, sweep your left leg all the way. Come high on the right toes. Bring the left knee to no shift the waist forward or stop in the shoulders over the wrist. Pressing the mat away to engage your core. Inhale, take your left leg all the way back. 
that need to know from the front. Step it in between your hands. Come into a warrior one. Take the arms out. Back his arms. Micro bend the back. Up with your heart. So however you can, transition into your warrior three. Maybe you step your right leg forward and then come up. Or you go straight into your warrior three. Rounding through the left toes. Scoop your right leg forward, abs in Shiva. Left hand to right knee. Right arm reaches back. Maybe you grab the outside of the foot and you start straining in the back. Make sure that you're not sinking down on your left hip. Release the bind, come back to the foot. Come into your evil legs, evil arms, with your right leg forward, wrap it around the left leg, and take your evil arms. Back into your warrior three. Warrior one. Take the hands to the mat, frame the left foot, sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky, bend the knees, lift your toe, send the head all the way up, reach the left arm towards the front of the mat, open. Take your left leg back to the mat, sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky, and step your foot at the back of the mat to meet the right. A moment here to reconnect to your breath, to reconnect to your intention. And remember, there's no expectations, there's no judgment. Embrace every moment when you can. Jump forward, walk, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, and then. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse one time. Take your arms all the way up. And now bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up ahead. Exhale, with a flat back, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump or walk. Chaturanga and Dasana. Inhale, up to the cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, sweep your right leg all the way up. Come high on the left toes. Bring the right knee to the nose. Shift the weight forward. Step your right foot in between your hands. Warrior two. So make sure that in the warrior two, your front knee is in line with the arch of your back foot. The front knees over the heel. In which you have to gain a Come back into the warrior two. Extend the setting, go back into the mat, to the floor, to the right hand, cover to the right hand. Tap the bottom in the air. You can play with your of paradise, but shifting your weight into the right leg. The left leg comes to the front of the neck. Engage the core. And then come here. Come here, you can start straight into the left. Other options are to bring the knee to the mat. Take the right shoulder under the right knee. With the left hand, we grab the outside of the right foot. Move the right knee. If you're looking for the full expression of the toes, back to the palm in 90 degrees. We put the right leg over the right shoulder. We grab the outside of the right foot. And we start straight. Another option that I offer here is super shoulder. We take the shoulder under. The right knee, we take the left leg all the way up, left arm reaches out, bend the knee, grab the foot, 
and their little father the next show. Slow little control, we step the left back. Come back into the warrior two, reverse the left arm. And now we all the arms down, frame the right leg. Either step your right foot back or sweep the right leg all the way up to the sky. Skip your vinyasa or flow through your vinyasa. And we meet it downward facing. Bring your feet a little closer together. Reach your left foot all the way up to the sky. From high on the right toes. Bring the left knee to the nose. Shift the weight forward. Stack in the shoulders. Over the wrist. Round in the spine. Engage your core. Step your left foot in between your hands. Coming into your warrior two on the left side. Reverse your warrior. And the arm variation is welcome. Come back into your warrior two. Extend the side angle. So remember, feel free to play, to stay. Maybe you take half the bind. Maybe you take a full bind. You can play with your pearl paradise by taking the right leg to the front of the mat, shifting the weight into the right leg, engage your core, come up. We can stay here, or maybe you start to bring it in the left. You can play with your Visvamistrasana, flying warrior, flying split. Maybe you take your right knee to the mat, toes facing out. So that's your kickstand. You take the left shoulder under the left knee with the right hand. We grab the outside of the left foot and we start straining in the leg. If you're looking for the full expression of the pose, we take the back foot on a 90 degree. Hook the knee to the shoulder, grab the outside of the left foot and start straining in the leg. If you want to play with your super soldier, take the shoulder under the knee. Right arm reaches out, sweep your right leg up, grab the foot, and look under your right arm. Come back into your extended side angle, back to your warrior two, reverse your warrior one more time, you reach it back, and now carve you the arms down, framing the left leg, either step the left foot back or sweep your left leg all the way up to the sky. Flow through your vinyasa. And we all meet in downward facing the So take a moment in here. Expand the body from head to toe. Blend the depressive body. When you first step into your mat this morning, the afternoon, or whatever time it is where you are. Feeling the difference in the mind, the heart, more aware of the body, your emotions, your surroundings. So we're going to come to the front of the mat. So let's do a little bit of core before we transition into our closing asana. So one of my favorites by far, if you have taken my class before, is Navasana. So Navasana make sure that you have a straight back you can reach the arms forward bring the knees to the chest engage the core from here you can reach your legs all the way up if that bothers your lower back that's because your core is not engaged you can always take your hands to the mat fingers facing forward roll the shoulders back and just make sure that your hands are by your hips lean back a little bit and then start straining in the legs once again, we can reach the arms all the way up and we stay here for 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and then slowly we're gonna come into a can. So make sure that you keep reaching the arms forwards, keeping the hollow back, and just keep breathing in here. And we're here for one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Release. <laughs> so we're gonna do a counter pose. We stretch the abdominal muscles. So we're coming into a bridge pose. Make sure that your heels are close to your glutes. Your toes and your knees are facing forward, pressing through the heels, lift up your hips. And then from here, feel free to come high on the toes, and the hips a little bit higher. Maybe you can start walking the hands under, interlacing the hands, and maybe lift up the hips a little bit. We're just breathing here. Keep hugging the inner thighs together if you have the block. You can always place a block in between your legs and just keep hugging the inner thighs together. And then slowly release. Bring the hips back to the mat. Bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself one more hug. Moving into our closing asanas, feel free to take your wheel pose. Maybe you take a fish pose. You can take a shoulder stand, plow, and just make sure whatever you do that you're mindful of your spine. So I'm gonna take today plow. Take five breaths wherever you are. Once again, just be mindful of your spine. Take the hands to the lower back and then slowly the sarcomic flat. So give yourself one last hug. Walk side to side or find stillness. Take the arms by the side and then slowly draw both knees towards the right side. Keeping the left shoulder brown and the head. Look over the left shoulder for you. your core and take your legs all the way up and now we're going to release both legs towards the left side looking over the right shoulder and just make sure that you're grounding the right shoulder on the back and just breathing in here taking a moment let it go go happy engage your core and bring the knees back to center so taking the feet mat width apart with the knees bent and then just windshield your legs in and out. Whenever you're ready, come into your final Shavasana or come into your Sipta Padasana by bringing the sole of the feet together, knees facing out. Maybe taking your left hand to your heart, right hand your belly just allowing yourself to disconnect from the outside world taking a moment to thank yourself for showing up to your mat today for taking care of your body your mind your soul your spirit and a friendly reminder that you're beautiful the way you are you're strong you're fearless you're brave you're worthy you are enough and you are unstoppable I want to thank you so much for stopping by, for sharing your beautiful energy with me today. As always, it is my honor guiding you through this beautiful practice of yoga. Wishing you all a beautiful day wherever you are. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Namaste.